A 14-year-old from Pittsburgh says he has found a way to save taxpayers millions of dollars with a few mouse clicks. His idea started as a science fair project. As Michelle Miller reports, the proof is in the printing. This is Garamond, this is Times New Roman, Century Gothic and Comic Sans. Whether it's Comic Sans or Times New Roman, most people don't pay much attention to their fonts. Severe Merchandani isn't most people. As you can see, they're sort of an increasing order of how much ink they use. He was still in middle school when he discovered that changing the typeface on printed documents can save ink, which, as it turns out, costs more per page than the paper it's printed on. Using software that calculates ink usage, Severe determined his Pennsylvania school district could save more than $20,000 a year. That's for only uh, changing to this particular font, Garamond. So Garamond sounds like the, the font of choice Yes. when it comes to savings. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a thinner, lighter font, and um, it uses a lot less ink. Suvir then applied his logic to the federal government, which is slated to spend $1.8 billion on printing this year alone. I found that the federal, state, and local governments together could save almost $234 million. $234 million. Yes. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. The government pr printing office said they would think about it. they think about it. Yes. <laughs> the government printing office, which handles about 50% of the Fed's printing needs, told CBS News it appreciates Suvir's suggestion and will take it under review. Why wouldn't they do it? Just resistance to change, maybe. Even if the government doesn't take his advice. I, I mean, anyone can change their font that they're using for emails, for documents they're printing out. Uh, and that saves them personally a lot of money. Severe's parents say we can learn a lot from kids these days. Teenagers are coming up with wonderful ideas. And that's what we should try to, as a society, try to see how we can make the best use of their ideas. Severe, who also happens to be an accomplished pianist, is already working on a new project, a web browser for people with motor disabilities. You're not done yet. No. He's just getting started. For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, Pittsburgh. Okay. And he, two, kid. and he plays the piano, too. <laughs> I know. Does he make his own clothes and cook? <laughs> yeah. Listen, you go severe, really. Well, yeah. You can learn a lot from kids these days. And he's a great athlete. That's right. $234 million has to be done by executive exactly. order. In a second.